showed an Eitzah. Vayashlech alamayim, vayimtuko hamayim. So he asked, what's the Eitzah? What's the Eitzah? So the Teretz is Charuvim. We see that the Teretz is Charuvim. What is a Choruv? Now, I never ate a complete one in my life. I'm, I admit that. But what is the Indian of a Choruv? The Zikr is not whether you chomp on it. It's what does it mean? What's the Choruv? It means that the Baron Shulman is saying to you, you, my entire, my entire, my precious child, continue plowing, <coughs> continue planting, continue pruning. All of those malachas, all of the hard work that you've been investing until now, even though I know the Bereshom says, even though I know that right now in your life, you don't see the pears, you don't taste the time of the pears. But the Bereshom is promising each and every one of us, not another person, but the Bereshom himself is saying the following. Not that you'll necessarily taste it one day, because there are people who leave this world without ever tasting that taste. But the Baruch Shalom is saying, what Chani Magal heard that day, the Baruch Shalom is saying that every single thing that you do, every crest to get up in the morning to get the davening and say it, every time you pull yourself away not to look, where your hands are shaking to press the button on the machine and you hold back and you don't, the Baruch Shalom Kiv Yochel is swearing to us. As we're going to the caves of our lives, each one in his own cave, the Baruch Shalom is swearing that Sof Kol Sof Yimtuko Amoy Sof Kol Sof, you're going to taste the sweetness of the water. You know the Balatanya brings in the Shulchan Aruch from the Ariyakad that every Torah that you and I ever learned in our lives that we forgot because we don't have strong memories, Liba de Inshi, we don't remember that every single Torah that we ever learned, that we accomplish, the Rabbi brings it down in Shukhanar, Halacha, that every single Torah that we forget in this world, the Baruch is going to give us back. All the Chalish Zadas that a person has. This is what Rabbi Obelega says an amazing thing. He says, Al Haroy, where he lived in Europe, Rabbi Obelega says they did not have Paris of Eretz Yisrael. They didn't have fresh fruits from Eretz Yisrael. I mentioned to the guys in Yeshiva, last week I mentioned to a couple of the Hebrew we were, we were talking, that my father remembered when in Europe there was a Jew who came back with one piece of fruit that he was able to salvage from Eretz and the rover was sitting there and the whole city came and they were singing songs and they were crying and the rover was cutting it into tiny pieces giving out pears of Eretz a, a taste of a pre from Eretz Yisrael. Rabbi Ram Leiger says that Al Pi Raiv, Al Pi Raiv on Tu Bishvat we eat dry fruit. That's what they ate in Europe, dry fruit. And he says that's the Minigah Island. Why? So my Ramallah says, Liz Chazek to be Miss Chazek on Tubi Shvat. Because on Tubi Shvat you don't see any change in the tree. It, it was just, it's cold here still. Even in Edge Israel, it's hard to come that the tree should come alive. We don't see any chiyas. We don't see any change in the tree. But each and every one of us believes with all of our hearts that Ba'oymik in the depth, in the depth, all the way down in the coldness of the earth, all the way down in the yamshus, in the dryness of the earth, from the cold winter, there is something that's being misoyer, something is there, something's coming back to life. And when you're talking to a yeshiva bachur, the oisius of bachur is the oisius of, he doesn't say this about Ramalaga, but bachur is the oisius choruv. And a bocher during, especially during these days of Shaivavim, when nowadays at least the bochum heard, they heard that there's such an Indian to work on the Indian of Yosef at Sadiq, Kedusha Sabris, Shmir Sainayim. And he looks at himself, the bocher, and he sees 
Ich bin ein ganzen ein Aids Jahrwisch. Choruf. A Churban. A Churban. I told the guys at the beginning of this man that there was somebody in the shul and that he was telling me every single day after davening, he would come over to me and he would say a number. He would say uh, 43. And I would give him a hug. 43, I gave him. What, that, what was that? It was 43 days that he didn't look at anything disgusting on the computer. So I said, 43 is unbelievable, unbelievable. Keep on going, you can do it. 44 came back to me. And then one day, a little bit after that one day, he didn't come, he left. I saw he's winding his film and he left. And he went running in, after him in the hall. And he said, what, come back, what is it? What, what happened? He said, I don't want to talk about it. And he said, it's finished. He said, last night was the worst night of my life. Any Aveira, I shall like, sumer be safe at Torah has that. Any Aveira, the worst I ever was in my life was last night. And he said, Dr. Now, your Chorv, hey, nani, eats your vesh. Rabbi Avram Legas says we eat dried fruit on Tubishva. Because the person feels that he's dried out, he has no more kaiches. I'm trying all these years, not here it happened again. I was good for 55, 60 days, whatever it was, and I fell the worst way. I don't have the strength to start again. How am I going to pick myself up again? It's the winter. You know, the days when you're young, you make chorifis, the chayr if it's called winter, the days of a bocher, and to feel the chor of the churban of that time of life. The ingin of the Paris of Tubishvat and Dab get to eat the chorov that takes 70 years to their Paris is to fill a person with the belief, that the time will come that you'll also be filled with Paris. And that your life will also have a delicious taste. If it's this world, if it's beyond this world, but it's going to be a mystikus that's deeper and greater than anything we could have ever imagined. That's our generation. Because I'll say that say the Zroim is Amunas, Itach Amunas. And you look down the Tyson and Shabbos Amunas is what is, is Ma'amin Bechaya Elamin Bezeireya. Ma'amin Bechaya Elamin. It means that a Jew believes in the God who is forever. And even though it feels hard and it tastes bitter, he's mom and the love and the the and he keeps on planting. And he doesn't stop that, and he doesn't stop learning. He gets up, he keeps the, he tries 43 days, 45 days, whatever it is, two hours. That's our generation. Mom and the love and the and the Bar is going to show us the Mashiach there was never a generation ever, ever, ever that had such a moon to be Ma'am and B'chai or Lom and B'zareya, even though the Paris have no taste, 60, 70, 80, 100 years no taste. And 6 million Jews were killed. And what taste does Yiddish can have to any of us after they were all killed? And we still do it. We get up and we try. And we build yeshivas. And we keep mitzvahs. And we try to be good. Time, I'm, gonna, I'm sorry it's late. I'm you're tired. But all of you have been up past 12 o'clock anyway. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and for the rebellion, Mr. Rahman. <laughs> <laughs> Rahman, Hanukkah, I told the Kevra in one of the Shira, and I spoke to the guys in Shul about this. But now it's the Indian of Tubishva. You know there's a Malach here. A Talda called Zoymer. What does Zoymer mean? It means you're cutting something in order that it should grow better, right? In English it's called pruning. It means you're cutting. And when you cut it means it hurts. But the cutting and the hurting makes things grow. That's what it means, Zayman. Haboycha b'shirei zimra. Haboycha b'shirei zimra. When we came together tonight to sing. And I want to thank the, those who are leading us with the singing, the tzaddikim. Haboycha b'shirei zimra means haboycha. Haboycha, boycha is loshen choruv. And it's a boycha, it's a boycha. And I was thinking that the Bernie Shalom loves, 
He's Boyche Bishire Zimra. These songs of the last generation, the songs of this Malach of Zmira, of being Zimra, of cutting, of feeling that pain of trying to cut ourselves off from things that are not right in this world to become better. And I explained Hanukkah, the Gemara tells us an amazing thing, the Gemara Mpsach. The Gemara says that by Dovid and Melech we find two types of Zmiras. And there were some of the guys that were in the Shir at the time. There are two types of Zmiras we find by Dovid and Melech. Sometimes it's the David Nizma, right? The David Nizma, like Shem Aritz Malay and so on. And sometimes it's what? Mizma le David. So Chazal tell us in Sochim what's the difference between why is it sometimes le David Mizma and why is it sometimes Mizma le David? So Chazal say that when David the Melech was filled with feeling, when he was filled with Ruach HaKadosh, when David was David, when David was the best David he could be, when he was on the highest Madrega, when it was, he was filled with, with the time of the tales, then it was le David and that David would explode with Zmiris with souls. And when you look at those Kepitloch, you see it. The David, David was David. And the Mizmarim came from David. And David was in a place of Ruach HaKadosh. But then there were other days that were not like that. And there are other songs that we have from David HaMelech. And these are the songs of our generation. Those were days of Mizmar the David. And that means when David HaMelech didn't feel anything on his Madrega, he didn't feel anything. So what did he do? What was the Vayerei Hashem Eitzah? Eitz, what's the Eitz? The Eitzah was Habarich Bishirei Zimra. The Eitzah was David Melch would begin to sing Mizmur David. Mizmur David means when David Melch didn't feel anything. And he felt himself to be Hey and then he ate Yavesh. He felt like a Chorv. He felt a Chorban. He felt Kimar Mahim the bitterness. So what does a Jew do in such a Matzah? What do you do in such a Matzah? You begin to say, Mizmar le David. And through the Mizmarim, through the Borche Bishire Zimra of the Zmiras to be Zoymer, through those difficulties to try Afal Pichain to sing, Hashem Roy Loy Ech Mizmar le David. Hashem Roy Loy Echsa. Gam ki Eilich Begeid Salmovis Loy Ira Ra. Ki Ati Imadi. Ki Ati Imadi. Over and over, David Melch would sing, Loy Ira Ra. Ki Ati Imadi. Mizmar le David. And suddenly, suddenly, somehow, through all of that pruning, and through those mirrors, through the Shirei Zimra, Haboricha the Shirei Shire Zimra, brought out from Dovid HaMelech a song of Ki'at Imadi. <coughs> to give new koiches of Tsei, Tsei Hilochim Ba'amolek. Tsei Hilochim Ba'amolek. That our generation was created for this Muhammad. Say he him by Amalek. And I told them a story, and notice I asked for Mechilim with this whole end. I told a Maisa from the Rebbe Abarach Mezbitz of Jesus Galeno. Abarach Mezbitz of Hashem's grandson. To me, this is one of the greatest, greatest stories I ever saw. Again, because I feel connected to it and I feel that it's talking mamish to us. And if everything I said till now, <coughs> leave it in, Shianchi people forget. <coughs> but this, this, from Rabbi Meshav, to what he said, everybody can remember. The Rabbi Rabbi who said, that it could be that after I die, it could very well be that they're not going to let me into Gan Eden. It could be they're not going to let me in. And the doors of Gan Eden will be shut. But Yid has to find an Eitzah, right? Vayereyo Hashem Eitz. Hashem shows every Jew an Eitzah. So the Rebbe Baruch Hu said, I have an Eitzah. What am I going to do when I come to over there to Gan Eden? And it's shut, it's closed. And you understand that over there you can't slip the gab a couple of shkolim. You know what I mean. And over there they don't care if, if you're a big veer and they name buildings after you. 
But a yid has to find an eitzer. So the Rebbe Baruch said, I have an eitzer. I'm going to sit by the door. And I'm going to start, I'm going to open up till him. I'm going to start to say till What does a Jew do when you're in trouble? You start to say till So I'm going to start to say till Then it happens, you know, that the Rebbe Baruch Medved said, the Bosham HaKadosh, the Enikla from Dabr HaMelech. Rebbe Nachman Breslov has said that the Enikla from Dabr HaMelech is always crying. And they know how to daven. Dabr HaMelech's children and grandchildren know how to daven. So Rebbe Baruch Medved said, I'm going to say till him. But when I say tell him it's, gonna, it's with such a nemus, with such a mistakes, it's with such a longing for the person who's not allowed in. I'm going to say these tell him outside the doors of Gan Eden. And what's going to happen? Dabla Malach in Gan Eden is going to hear all the way from his place in Gan Eden. Everyone's going to hear and he's going to say, I never heard since I made tell him, since I first said tell him, I never heard such beautiful tell him. Who's saying these tell him? Where do they come from such tell him? And Dabra Malach is going to go outside of the doors, he's going to come out to see what's going on. Who says such a tilling like this? And Rabbi Mezbus has said that Dabra Malach is going to sit next to me outside of Gan Eden. Now, do you think that when Dabra Malach leaves Gan Eden, that the other tzaddikim are going to sit by themselves like that? So he said, Sibislach, all the other tzaddikim are going to come also, one by one. The tzaddikim are going to leave Gan Eden. And they're going to sit outside of Gan Eden together with me. They're all going to want to sing together, the Fabran together with me, to sing outside the doors of Gan Eden. He says that Mimela, Rabbah Meshav just said, Mimela, that if all the tzaddikim are sitting with me outside of Gan Eden, it means that's Gan Eden. And I don't know what's going on inside the place, it's an Afghan. Everybody's outside. It means they'll be Gan Eden by me. Outside of Gan Eden, it'll be Gan Eden. All the tzaddikim will be together. Everybody will sing with me. We'll be singing. We'll be singing the gunim outside of Gan Eden. Ozi v'zimras ka by Hili Yeshua. The story of our generation as Ami b'shvachin l'meal gold pilskin, like it says in Ariyah Kodesh's piyut. Azami b'shvachin. Our generation's mirrors. Azami to keep on pruning. Keep on planting. It hurts. It's hard. Kimarim hain. But to keep on working at it, and to know that every single cut, every single piece of pain, every every moment of mirrors of goodness that comes with not looking, with holding back, with trying to come to say that with coming to Davni, every single drop of goodness as a zamer v'shvachim lemeagol piskin brings us to that place of lemeagol piskin up to the Pesach. And our generation, that we're seeing these mirrors outside of Gan Eden, that each and every one of us can get together like we are now. We should all be zerkhet to be in the right place at 120 in this world and the next world. But if there, an eighth that we have to hear, so an eighth that Jew needs, and the eighth is Haboycha B'Shir Ezim. The Charuvim, the Bochrim, the Charuvim, the Haboycha B'Shir Ezim. Mizmur L'Dovet, Azama B'Shvachim. To keep on singing, to keep on cutting and planting and plowing and seeding and working and working and working. And the Bible made such a world that the, the prayers that this generation is going to eat, they'll never ever ever, since the time of since the time of the Eitzachayim in Gan Eden Mikedim, they're never ever going to be such prayers like the prayers that our generation is going to eat for all of these years of, of continuing, of singing. So the Bible should help us. Yezarchi to be here in Eitzachayim this year. Hashem should be next year. So we should be zarech to join you here in Eretz Yisrael. We should be zarech each and every one of us to sing the songs of Dov Melech, not just of Dov Melech, but to be zarech. Can you imagine what it's going to be like when we sit together and Dov Melech comes to sit with us, mm-hmm. and and then the tzaddikim are going to be looking outside the door of Gan to see people like us, and going to say, "What's Dov Melech doing with these guys?" You just see people like us. I was going to say, who are these people? What are these people? What are they doing here? They're not even allowed into this place. But they're going to see that they're not sitting with us. And then each one will come out. Avram, Yitzhak, and Yaakov, Moish, Aaron, Dov, Shlema, all the tzaddikim will come out from Gan Eden. And be zarecha, but that's the song. Avabarecha b'shir Zimra. That this generation will lead all the early generations. Tibi makabu p'nei, m'shir tzakeinu, davimalke m'shircha. Dugula Hashem, v'amitish, m'hem yamino, amen. Amen.